Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. Are we going to get some hate like we did on that Dark World Structure Deck video? Oh, I hope we do. Hope we do because it got so many views. Do not buy the Trap Trick Structure Deck because it is a hot trap hole full of garbage. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button. So we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder, currently sitting at 1,073 subscribers. Man, it feels good. I'm having a fantastic evening tonight. We just got out of the shower. We're feeling fresh and clean AF. And uh, I was thinking about what kind of video I want to make today, and I, I think I now know. I want to just drop a giant dookie boo-boo stain on the Trap Tricks structure deck because outside of an evenly matched reprint and a Harpy's Feather Duster reprint that we didn't fucking need, uh, this structure deck is hot garbage. It's horrible. It's trash. Uh, it cannot compete with the meta, period. Thanks for attending my TED Talk. <laughs> Bruh, no, but all jokes aside. Again, like what I said with the Dark World structure deck, this goes for any structure deck, like seriously. When you look at a structure deck, there are a few things that make a structure deck good or bad. And the number one thing that can push a structure deck forward is the reprints. Now, in this particular structure deck, we are getting evenly matched, which is amazing. Like, I'm assuming it's going to be a common. Commonly evenly matched? Mwah. Yes, that is what makes us hard. It makes the ultra ball hard, which means it makes us hard. <laughs> and so... We're also getting a Feather Dust reprint, which is whatever. I mean, the more Feather Dusters we have access to, the better. I'm not going to complain about that, to be honest. Now, do I wish that Lightning Storm is in here? Absolutely. Uh, I think that that would actually make the structure deck pretty much too good to be true, to be honest. But I'll take an evenly match. Um, now, when it comes to the actual Trap Tricks deck... The cards are just not good. Like, really, they're they're dog water. I, I've seen the new support on, like, EDO Pro and stuff, and I've messed around with it a little bit. But really, I mean, it's not hat format, ladies and gentlemen. We're not in fucking 2014 anymore. I'm sorry. The thing is, is that having new Trap Trick support is cool, and maybe it will be played in, like, some sort of sub-engine. But having a pure Trap Tricks deck in 2023, again especially when we're going into a Photon Hypernova format where Cash Tier is going to be Tier 1 most likely, and depending on how hard Tier Element gets hit on this upcoming ban list, possibly just Cash Tier a Tier Element, and that's just another Tier Element format, you have to ask yourself, again, going back to what makes a Structure Deck so good, is how well can this deck keep up with the meta? And, you know, we kind of saw Crystal Beast do some stuff for a while before we got the Ishizu stuff, because Crystal Beast was honestly like a pretty cool rogue deck that actually I'll I have to say I think Neshi pretty much put on the map and a couple other uh Yu-Gi-Oh players were able to help put on the map as well. And in that regard, it was cool. You know, it could play Bi Steals, it could play Necro Valley, it could, you know, do all these cool things. But the trap tricks really I don't think have that ability to do that. You know, they revolve around playing trap hole trap cards when like no one's playing that because that's just garbage. <laughs> like like I said in the Dark World structure deck, and I know, or the, the Dark World video, and I know I keep bringing back this point up, excuse me, but you have to ask yourself, how am I beating the meta? And, you know, something that I try to do on this channel more often now than I have in the past is that I realize that I, I feel like I have a lot more casual players on my channel, but I want to help make you, whether you're a casual or competitive player, a better Yu-Gi-Oh player overall to where if you're casual, you'll start moving into comp into competitive, and if you're competitive, you'll get better, or you just learn something new about the game. And right now, with us being in a tier zero tier element format, like I've said before, all sets are irrelevant, side set, structure deck, whatever, until we get Photon Hypernova and along with that, a new ban list. Because you can't tell me that Trap Tricks can keep up with tier. It just fucking can't. Like, I was playtesting Sword Soul earlier today, just seeing what the deck can do in 2023. And I built the one from YCS Sydney that played nine buy steals. And I only saw a Sword Soul Moji and saw nothing but buy steals for the whole duel with a shit ton of hand traps. And guess what? The opponent played through, what did I have? Like five fucking buy steals and like three or four hand traps. Homie played through all of it and still tapped my ass and told me to go back to pre-K. Like, real talk. Like, it, it was disgusting. 
there's no way that Trap Tricks can keep up with the current meta. There's no way that they can even keep up with Cash Tira. You mean to tell me that, actually, let me let me play it out for you real quick, because this is what's going to happen, because your boy's going to be playing Cash Tira at the upcoming regional season, like, real talk. If you see me at a Georgia or Florida regional, you can just assume that your boy's playing Cash Tira. Here's what's going to happen if you're playing Trap Tricks and I'm playing Cash Tira. We're going to roll the dice. I'm hopefully going to win. More likely, I'll lose the die roll. You go first, set up some back row. If I'm playing my going second build, I'm going to evenly match the shit out of you and make a board and lock out your back row. If I happen to go first and I get lucky and win the dice roll, I'm going to go, okay, Shangri-La, boom, 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 do all my combos, proceed to whip out my diddly and play with myself for about five minutes. I'm going to lock out three of your back row. Now you can only set two of your trap holes in the back row because I'm not going to be afraid of your monsters because I can just use my Arise Heart to banish card base now and then lock out a fourth back row. <laughs> like, how do you beat that, bro? <laughs> like... How? And like, again, pe people kept on saying like, you're, you're being an asshole, blah, 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 in my Dark World video. But it's like, bro, uh, number one, I'm being entertaining, as I've always said. Number two, the, the deck's not good. Would you rather me just bullshit you and be like, yes, you should go buy three structure decks and like outside of an evenly matched and a feather dust reprint, you should totally play trap tricks. No, ain't nobody going to do that trash. Absolutely not. Now, should you still buy this for the evenly reprint? Honestly, like, yeah, it's, it's looking like a pretty good piece of chicken sandwich, if you know what I'm saying. Like, a common evenly match? Hello? Like, we just need common lightning storms, and, like, we can all have a very Merry Christmas. Like, nothing wrong with that. Seriously. Now, if you want to save your money, like, if for whatever reason the structure decks are upcharged instead of, like, the eleven ninety nine or whatever the hell they are now. God, I remember when structure decks were nine ninety nine. Then, yeah, just buy singles. I do feel like out of the gate that evenly matches are gonna be like five or six bucks a piece out of this structure deck and the feather dusters will be like a dollar or two just because like everybody needs evenly. It's like going into this new format, banless depending, but I mean, they're not gonna hit like evenly match or anything. I doubt that. Evenly match is gonna be amazing against Cash Tira because they don't run any negates in the main deck. Like the th that's what I've said before, like Cash Tira is gonna be a good deck if it's built properly because on its own as a pure deck, it's really not that scary. Okay, you lock out my zones. I'm going to Book of Eclipse you. You don't have an Omni Negate in your deck. Uh, I'm going to evenly match you. You have nothing. You're going to end on a Shangri-La. Okay, I'm going to Kaiju it. Like, there is just so many things that you can do to cash Tira. And there's so many better decks than Trap Tricks that you could play that can beat the shit out of cash Tira. And, you know, along with that, you know, it's not to say that you can't build Trap Trick with, like, an Artifact Engine or something like that. But, I mean outside of good reprints like that's really what doesn't push a structure deck forward you know crystal beast was great because you got amazing reprints like d shifter and ash blossom and you also had a good rogue deck out of the box trap tricks i don't think is going to hit that rogue deck status i think it's going to uh, as i say in our tier list videos it's going to belong in the booty booty butt cheek category now i do want to touch on as well <laughs> jesus christ People are saying that Max C is going to be in the structure deck. Please stop that shit. It's not going to be. <laughs> Max C, this is a bigger like discussion video just on its own, but Max C does not need to come back. I feel like I've talked about Max C in the past. Max C does not need to come back. Max C is the most toxic card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh that I've ever had to deal with. And I've been playing this game since like, what, 2008, 2009 competitively? Two weeks before the Fusion deck was changed to the extra deck. That's when I started, went to my first local to start playing competitively. Um, here's the thing with Max C in 2023. I'm the cash tier player. I'm going to build my board. I'm going to lock out your zones. You're going to draw for turn. I'm going to go, okay, by the way, I want to give you the middle finger and go Max C. And then you're just going to sit there and be like, Max C is toxic. If Max C ever comes back to the TCG, just as a wider point to make, um, the OCG and the TCG banlist need to just slap back together like two pair of butt cheeks. Like seriously, because Max C is the only thing that keeps the TCG and the OCG game mindsets so to speak different like when you look at how the ocg deck builds how the tcg deck builds the biggest differences between the two is literally max c because the ocg build their decks like pretty much around max c like every deck is playing call by cross outs and max c because it's that disgusting of a card and i feel like the people that enjoy max c are the people who like mostly play control or stun decks so like obviously it does help them and it hurts combo and then they can't pop off but it's also like, that doesn't mean that Max C is healthy, Pim. Like, Max C is just absolutely terrible for the game. Like, I remember uh, when Master Shits first came out and someone was making an argument that, oh, saying to me, oh, you're a meta sheep, that's why you don't like the game and blah, 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 blah. But then, like, they were trying to say I'm a troll because, like, I play the best decks 
and like I don't be different. Like I don't diversify my deck building. And I and I said to the person, oh, so we should all play our Beaver Warrior decks, but then play Max C because it's fucking broken. Like it it made no sense to me. Max C is such a toxic card. That it's what keeps the OCG and the TCG separate, different to look at games. And the fact that if you could just pop off as a combo player and then max see somebody, like, that's not fair. That's just a win more, and that's just toxic. You know, back in the day, we didn't have all the hand traps that we do now. Now that we do, pff, bullshit. I'm not playing Maxi. Maxi ever comes back, I quit the game. Like, real talk. We, we ain't dealing with that. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I think Trap Tricks is just going to be disgustingly bad. I would rather go get laser eye surgery. Like, I would rather do anything than play that deck. So, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.